Hello everyone, today we will take a look at the secret corners of periodic table of chemical elements by looking at the class of lanthanide metals that are quite active but at the time are hard metals and have some unique properties. Today we will focus on this metal called cerium which is almost at the beginning of the lanthanide array. Cerium is quite an active metal. When exposed to the air, as time goes by, it gets covered with a layer of serum oxide and eventually many even completely oxidize and turn into an oxide powder. Hence serum is stored in ampules or in an inert atmosphere or coated with a layer of paraffin to protect from oxidation. Serum is widely used due to its pyrophoric properties, i.e. spontaneous combustion in air as dust. To demonstrate this property, I'll break the ampules that contain pieces of serum. In appearance, the unoxidized serum from the ampule is a shiny metal, which has a crystalline structure as a break point. Let's try and drop serum on the file to see whether the bright sparks will be formed at the same time. Honestly, I was expecting a bit more, like a huge amount of sparks, but you can't fool chemistry. That's why the Austrian chemist Welbach invented the alo called ferroserum, which has a strong ability to form sparks. You can see the composition of this alloy on the screen. Ferroserum is commonly called flint, which is used in lighters or camping flint. Namely, the addition of other lanthanide metals and iron to serum improves its properties and leads to the formation of bright sparks. As time went by, I now had a small handful of soft dust serum. Let's try and light them using ferroserum flint. Serum powder burns perfectly forming serum oxide. Now, let's see what happens if we burn a piece of serum with a burner. In the air, serum gradually burns without a bright flame, forming yellow serum oxide. By the way, this oxide is used in gas lamps. The lamp gets covered with a mesh tissue that is impregnated with salts of serum and other metal. When the tissue is burning, serum salts decompose and form serum oxide which then glows when heated, illuminating everything around. Also, serum oxide is used in polishing of various optical products and as a catalyst for self-cleaning ovens. By the way, if you take a piece of ferroserum alloy and heat it, then when thrown on the ground it will form very beautiful and powerful sparks, which will continue to burn in the air. It looks especially beautiful in slow motion. Do not repeat that one, it's dangerous. Also, serum metal may react with acids, such as hydrochloric acid, to form hydrogen and yellow serum salt. Metal serum is extracted from monazite and bisnazite minerals. Now you know a little bit more about one of the lanthanide metals. If you want to study the properties of gases, metals, solutes and many more with your own hands, Sign up to Mel Science subscription. You will find all the instructions and ingredients inside your monthly box. Click on the link below the video and experience science yourself. If you would like the series of elements to continue, please like and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting.